the closer look exercise is a way of paying attention to the present moment by exploring a small patch of ground in nature. The way that works is I usually have a hula hoop or something like that and give it to each participant and they put it on the ground in front of them and I tell them just to imagine that the entire universe exists with inside of that hoop. What that means is that they are exploring it mindfully with all of their senses and if they create any stories there then those stories are some way to explore shifting from doing mode into being mode. This is the video for the 8.4 worksheet, A Closer Look. Let's start off by reading the instructions. This exercise will help you to gain practice in seeing nature as a metaphor. These skills help us to live more fully in true self by helping us to observe our own inner dialogues and to describe them to ourselves. In this exercise, you will observe and describe an experience in nature. But before I go on to the instructions, let's say a little bit about that. The nature as metaphor section is all about, of course, seeing nature as a metaphor. And in this case, what we're talking about is nature as a metaphor for ways to connect with and identify your true self. So the closer look exercise is that you have your students find a place on the ground and if you have hula hoops or some other similar plastic hoops or just some way to mark out about a two and a half or three foot space in front of them sometimes you can just have them imagine it or just draw it on the ground but the idea here is that they're going to spend all the time for this exercise focusing on what's inside of that hoop just as a matter of timekeeping Try to keep this exercise to no more than 10 minutes once you start it because there are several worksheets in this section and if you go more than 10 minutes, you're going to have difficulty getting to the rest of the worksheets. So that's that's the basic premise of it. What we're doing here is we're observing a patch of nature and then we're using whatever we see in that patch of nature as a metaphor for our own inner journeys. Now to the instructions on the Closer Look worksheet. You may wish to purchase a hula hoop or a similar toy before trying this exercise. If you have the advantage of being able to do that for your students, then that's great. That's uh, always a conversation starter when I show up to this particular session with a handful of hula hoops. Everybody wants to know what we're going to be doing. Do that if you can. If you can't, that's fine too. You can just have them, like we said, visualize a three or four foot patch of ground in front of them or draw a line marking that out. The basic idea here is to limit the focus to just what's on the ground in front of them. So the rest of the instructions, weather permitting, go outside on the lawn in a park, your backyard or other natural area. If you have a toy hoop, place it on the ground in front of you and sit on the grass. If you don't have a hoop, mark off an area about three feet in diameter with a rope or by drawing a circle, or by just using your imagination. Now imagine that the entire world is contained within that hoop. See yourself as an artist about to paint or draw everything you see inside that hoop. At first you may see nothing but blades of grass, but as you pay more attention, you may notice how no two blades are different. Each is pointing in a different direction, and each is a slightly different color, texture, and shape. You may notice the soil beneath as well. What color is it? Is it fine or grainy? Do you see any insects in the little world you have created? If so, what are they doing? Are there any stories unfolding in your little patch of grass? Pay attention to what you see before you for at least 10 minutes. Shift your attention to what you see, hear, smell, taste, and feel as you sit on the grass. When your time is up, write your response below. Before we discuss the response, let's talk about the instructions here for a moment. As you probably noticed there, the last sentence, shift your attention to what you see, hear, smell, taste, and feel. We're moving from doing mode into being mode. And we're just focusing all of our attention mindfully on what's in front of us. And are there any stories unfolding in your little patch of grass? What we're doing here is engaging 
the unconscious part of the person's mind so that they are able to say, this is what's happening here. And of course, the idea behind that is that the story that they see in the area that they're observing is not what's going on inside of their heads. The story that they create is their own unconscious projection of what's going on with them and their own internal dialogue. But we're not going to talk about that until we get to the closer look inside portion. So don't mention that now to your students. And then finally, it says here to observe for at least 10 minutes. That's if you're doing this workbook on your own at home. Um, if you're doing it in session, I try to keep it to no more than 10 minutes because you're going to run out of time to do the other exercises. Now let's talk about the response section. Write a description of what you saw in the grass. Think of it as a story from once upon a time to and they all lived happily ever after. Now imagine you are documenting the story in the section below. What story did you see unfolding in the grass? Use extra paper if necessary to write your story. Now if you're doing this in a group, you don't have to have them write it down unless they just feel so inclined. The idea here is just to create the story in their own minds. And then if you have students that are willing to share it, then that's okay. If they're not willing to share it, that's okay too. Realistically speaking, you're only going to have time for one or two stories to be shared. And then when you do that, you unpack the story and say, well, what could that tell you about your own inner dialogue? And while you're doing that with your students, make it a point to let them interpret it. Don't tell them, oh, this is what it means. Ask them what they think it means that they saw. Okay, this ant was fighting with another ant over a blade of grass. What can that tell you about your own dialogue, that that's what you observed? And again, you're not interpreting it for them. You're allowing them to interpret it. And then once they have done that, they will be ready for the reflections on a closer rope, which is 8.5, the next worksheet.